Hi guys, so this is a long time review in the making and it is for the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick Crayon. Looks like this. I originally got this in Texas because I was wanting the um, Buxom, you know, like the really popular Buxom lip glosses, but they were all sold out. So I was like, well, I want to try something from the line because I've heard so many good things about it. And they had this in stock, and it was totally my color. It's in Vienna. So this is what the box looks like. It's pretty beat up. It's just white. Um, their logo, I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't really, like, draw me to the product. But, I mean, you know, whatever. And then what's kind of cute, they have a little shoe and then kind of the color representation. So that's Vienna. All of the big and healthy lipsticks are named after a big city. So this is Vienna, Italy, I believe. So what this is, is it lines, colors, and plumps lips all in one. Curvaceous, excuse me, curvaceous, creamy color, a deep infusion of antioxidant uh, vitamins A, C, and E for soft, smooth lips. It includes a built-in sharpener. So this is what the actual product looks like. I am obsessed with crayon products because of the simple fact that with a crayon type product, you can line your lips at the same time as well as fill them in versus a traditional lipstick. That can be really tricky to do. So it's silver packaging and then it has the color on the bottom. And then it says big and healthy lipstick, buxom, blah, 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 the color down there. And then it has a black, uh, what do you call that? I don't know, a black thingamabobber. And this is what the product looks like. Now, I have used quite a bit of this product. You get 1.0 grams, so I have used quite a bit. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I do have it kind of at a slant. I did that kind of on purpose because I like to use the higher part to actually line my lips, kind of have a corner because it's just a lot easier. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. And this is the color. I am wearing it on my lips today. But I have gloss over it. It's a very, very matte color. So this Vienna color is like a pink with fuchsia in it. So it is very, very bright. Um, some people may not think this is wearable. I happen to absolutely adore it. I love this color. It's a blue-based pink, so it really makes your teeth appear a lot whiter than they actually are or could be or whatever. <laughs> so notes on this product. As far as it being creamy, I really wouldn't say it's overly creamy. It's definitely not as creamy as like a YSL Rouge Volupte nowhere near as creamy as that. When I think of the description of being creamy, I think of the YSL Rouge Volant, um, which in my opinion is a little bit too creamy, but this isn't like enough creamy for me for them to have that description. The coverage with this, at least with this color, is very, 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 very opaque. You need very little swipes to get a full on color. What I do have to say about the texture is that it is very, very smooth. However, if your lips are really dry like mine, there is a little bit of a tugging involved. So you can, of course, to avoid that, put on some, just a light layer of lip balm and then it'll really glide on really smoothly. Um, and I also wanted to mention the smell of this. It almost kind of has, like, I'm not really good at describing scents, but it almost kind of has like a minty, burnt caramel type of smell. It's a really nice smell. It doesn't bother me at all. As far as plumping, I, you know, these plumping products, I really don't think that they actually do any plumping. I think that if you line your lips, I know when I line my lips with a lip color first, whether it's a pencil liner or whether it's the actual lipstick itself, that my lips appear fuller anyways. So for me, it's kind of hard to tell if it's actually plumping. I don't really think it is. Um, usually with plumping products, you might be afraid of a burning effect or tingling effect. This does not burn whatsoever. It feels super amazing on the lips, especially for summertime. It's a cooling effect. It's a little tingly, which I happen to love, but again, it's not going to burn. It doesn't hurt and it's not bothersome at all. Now, because of the claims, um, said 90% of women felt this lipstick lasted on their lips. 
I would say this probably lasts me a good two hours. I don't really find that it stained my lips at all. Really the color really just transfers off after two to three hours. Again, it's different for everybody. I'm constantly, constantly drinking things. I'm constantly um, nibbling on things and you know, so things are going to last differently or different times on different people. And then this was the big one. After two weeks of use, 94% of women felt the overall condition of their lips was improved. And that was based on an independent consumer study. So what I did, and it was no problem at all because, again, I love this color. I use this specifically, specifically for a two-week time period to see if my lips had improved in their condition. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I've had a really hard time with my lips. There's certain lip products that I've learned that I just can't wear. For example, like the cream sheens from um, MAC. They just, my lips just don't do well with them. So I tested it out and I think it almost made my lips worse. Um, again, the creamy consistency, I don't really feel that it was that creamy. It's definitely not a moisturizing formula. So if you're thinking that you're going to get it, going to get that in this, it's definitely not going to do that. I found that it really is almost like a drying stain. However, it doesn't have the stain properties. Um, so if you've ever tried to stain and it dried out your lips, that's kind of what this did to me. Even though it claims that it has all those good for you ingredients, it really just kind of made my lips worse. Um, and with no gloss on, after two hours, my lips looked cracky. You could see the dead skin flakes, and it's just icky. Um, while I wouldn't buy any more of these, and while it does dry out my lips if I wear it excessively, I do really enjoy applying this, which was another reason why I didn't have a problem um, wearing this for two weeks straight. It is a joy to apply, um, but it's $18. I believe these retail for $18. And if you know me at all, I love the Tarte uh, lip stains. Um, I think they're the natural lip stains. I love those. Those are like 24 a piece. And I would much rather spend my money on the Tarte than um, something like this. So now if you are like me and you don't want to spend $18 on that, I do have a dupe if you absolutely love this color. This is NYX Dolly Pink, and it's one of their lip liner pencils. This is nice and affordable. I think the NYX lip liners are around $3 or so. It looks like this. And it's just a little bit brighter. This is really dry since it is a lip liner, but if you just apply this and then put some gloss over it, literally it's like almost the same color. Um, Sephora and Makeup Alley from what I reviewed most people do love them 69% um, of the 26 reviews that are on Makeup Alley would repurchase this again um, I think it got four lippies out of five on Makeup Alley and then I think it got like four and a half or something on Sephora but I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover with this review let me know if you guys have tried the lipsticks below and what you think again these are just my personal opinions everybody has you know different lips different tastes you know you may not like the tingling you may not like minty whatever so I hope that this review was helpful to you guys and I will speak with you not very soon because if you notice I haven't been uploading a lot but whenever I see you. <laughs>